welcome to Shooting the Breeze. My name is Tanya Kappas and I am a cozy mystery author who is excited to bring you a fun podcast where we answer reader questions and bring you amazing interviews from your favorite cozy mystery authors. Come hang out and let's just shoot the breeze. Hi, and welcome to Shooting the Breeze. This week, I am so excited to bring an author that I have seen all over for the last, gosh, 10 years, I believe. I'm not sure how long you've been writing, but I know you've been around over 10 years along with me. We kind of started around the same time. Yeah, it's Um, 2016, so we're getting there. Yeah, so um, yeah, I started in 2010, so it's been a while for me so but I remember you came on the scene and you have not quit and it's so much fun watching you grow and take this whole paranormal cozy mystery world by storm this is Tegan Mayer and I'm so excited to have her she is also part of our um supernatural prolific works um cozy cozy mystery um sleuth where she has an amazing book that is called killer compact you can see it on the screen here and um just welcome Tegan I'm so glad that you're here and finally get to meet you like in person (laughs) yeah thanks for having me Tanya it's yeah we've lived we're like parallel and yeah. I can't believe it's taken us this long to actually meet. <laughs> I know. I know. You feel like, you know, people like in my head, we're friends because I see you and we were kind of all on the same streams. Yeah. Um, and so in my head, I'm like, oh yeah, that's my friend Tegan. That's her book or, you know, something like that. Cause yeah, exactly. You know, people think that the author world is just so big, but really it's not too big at all. It's pretty small. So it really, especially with us Southern writers. Yes. We all stick together. Yeah. <laughs> Southern girls got to, got to stick together. <laughs> we do, we do. So let me read your bio real quick. Um, Tegan was born and raised in the South and even hung, hung her motorcycle helmet in Colorado for a few months. Um, she's always had a touch of wanderlust and have never feared just packing up and going on new adventures, whether in real life or the pages of great books. She didn't want to be a writer when she was growing up. She wanted to raise unicorns and to be a superhero. That's pretty good. And when those gigs fell through, she chose the next best thing, which was creating her own magical lands filled with adventure, magic, and humor. She lives in Florida with two dogs. And when she's not reading or writing, she's racing motorcycles, hanging out on the beach, or binge watching anything magical on Netflix. Okay, well, first off, um, where did you hang your hat in Colorado? Just a little bit west of Colorado Springs in a little town called Divide. Woodland Park is where okay. I work. That I was, was awesome. Yeah, I was just in Colorado for a week last week on vacation in Ure. Oh. Uh, and so um, did a lot of jeeping, razor scootering, hiking. Those are my cup of tea things as well. Yeah, I um, love to do it too. Yeah, it was so much fun. It was so beautiful to go out there. And, it's, and from where you're at now in Florida to where you're in Colorado, it's two different complete landscapes. <laughs> Code and, and even the heat out there, it doesn't get very hot where I was living because I was kind of in the mountains right on the front range. But even when it does get hot, it's a dry hot. Yeah. In Florida, you breathe your water three months out of the year. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah. But you get beautiful sunshine, Florida. You do get that. Yeah, the beaches. that. I was just at the beach last week with some friends of mine. We did a beach, a girl's beach day. And mm. boy, there's just something about the ocean. It makes you feel you, when you look at it, you know, there are just some things you can't control. Yeah. It's just, and it crea- make, gives you more creativity. It does. It? So you've it lived does. in two places that probably spark your creativity, the mountains and the beach. Yep. Um, absolutely yeah I love that I love that so much and I also love that you had motorcycles do you Mm -hmm. still have a motorcycle I don't right now my son (laughs) he grounded me (laughs) Um, (laughs) mom you're grounded because of your foot yeah but yeah because I I, I had a pretty wicked crash I was racing oh yeah and you know of course that was private course you know I wasn't being an idiot out in traffic but I high-sided coming out of a turn and just crushed my hip. I, you know, I just broke myself. Yeah. So he said, you know, can you keep the speed on four wheels? So I, <laughs> I went out and bought my Mustang. And I love it. 
I love it. Maybe you'll get back on. My husband has a crotch rocket. So I know the um, excitement of a motorcycle and have been riding on the back of his for a long time, but we're getting older. It's, we're not wanting to, you know, bend over so much. Exactly. But the same thing, like he likes the racing bikes and things like that. And I think that that's so cool. And maybe you'll get back on, but you're healing. And maybe so. Cause I like the crotch rockets too. That's what I always read. Yeah. And I love it. Yeah. That, that speed. Oh, but you know now it's it, you get mortal after a while though <laughs> you right. realize oh my god especially after the wreck I'm like oh my god I this is gonna kill me at one point I need to stop my passion is gonna kill me well we're glad that you are healing and that you have stopped and decided not to uh well you were trying to be your superhero which you said you wanted to be and to raise unicorns which we all would love to have a unicorn I think um but if you were a superhero what would you be who would you be what would you do Oh, you know, I would probably, everybody says they would like to fly. I want to teleport because if I could teleport to anywhere in the world, that's what I would do. Yeah, that's a and good one. It, well, I already, I take sarcasm to a superhero level already. <laughs> and you're known for that probably in your circle of friends. I am. And in my books. I love it. That's... And it kind of comes with your snark. I was saying in your books. Yeah. I love it. So, um, and speaking of books, let's talk about your, um, book. It's called killer compact. It is in your paranormal artifact. Um, short, it's a short mystery that you're offering for free right now in our supernatural sleuths prolific work. So everybody will have that link in the bottom, um, to grab, but let me um, read the description on this book. It says, how was I supposed to know the town founders sank a trunk full of cursed objects? Seriously, they should have at least put a warning label on it had I known. I would have left it at the bottom of the ocean, but they didn't. So I didn't. And now we've set dozens of artifacts into the hands of blissfully unaware non-magicals who live in our small town. This time, Jules and Eli have to track down an antique compact that's already killed once. Follow their adventure as they chase down the clues before it takes another life. This is a novella written in her Paranormal Artifacts Cozy Mystery Series. If you love snass and snark and a touch of romance, you won't be able to read just one, which she has already four books um, in that series right now. So before we get into your um, prolific works book, that's free. Tell us about the series and how you started that. Well, I live, you know, I live on the, used to live on the Gulf coast. Now I'm more in Orlando, but, um, I was sitting, we all like to go to the beach and we, and my niece found a necklace on the beach when we were there last, you know, a couple of years ago. And I thought, what if there's like a whole sunken treasure? And then my boyfriend who at the time said, well, you know that one of the Spanish galleons sunk down off the Gulf coast, like for three or 400 years ago. And their, their gold still washes up sometimes, you know, after a storm. Mm -hmm. So that kind of got me thinking, you know, what else is down there? <laughs> And then, of course, you know, I went in the hole. I'll bet it's a trunk full of curse objects. I bet there's curse objects out there. And then that's where it came from. <laughs> yeah. And so that started off the haunted pendant, right? As yes. Ha yeah, and, with haunted and pendant. readers can see that cover right here. So they're going to, I mean, just look at those covers. Like this one is just, she's beautiful. First off, she kind of reminds me of you. She's got her long, flowy hair. Um, and so um, she is really, really cool. So when we decided to do the um, paranormal, um, prolific works, uh, supernatural um, promotion all together, I was so excited when Tegan um, said that she would join us when we asked her, because sometimes we asked authors that are of Tegan's status they're busy but she was able to um do a book and it is so good you guys and the whole series is really really good and so when this in this short story um where does it fall in the series or is it a pre is it like a prequel or is it just anywhere in the series or just it kind a, of it falls more there? as a book two or three mm -hmm. um anywhere between one and you know anywhere between one and three it's fine right. the romance aspect changes a little in book four so it's probably better to read it before then 
mm-hmm. but really it can fall anywhere in the series. It's, right. it's fine. And that's what I say to people a lot of time in paranormal cozy mysteries or series that are genre or subgenres. Um, you know, really the only thing that makes it a series is the actual sleuth or the paranormal characters and things like that. So right. um, I know people are going to love this book. They're going to love the series. She's really fun and the adventures are really fun. Um, and also while you're there, you guys, you can sign up for Tegan's newsletter. So um, tell us a little bit about your newsletter. I'm not spammy. I I send out anywhere between two and four times a month, but I try to keep it relevant. You know, I like to, I have a great deals section. Like when you're, you or one of my other author friends are doing a free book, I'll put it in there to kind of keep, re- you know, my readers updated. So, hey, I, I haven't written anything this week, but here, Tanya's got a free book out or I'm in this promotion and, you know, it's a lot of free and discounted books or, and then I do a, a section where I'm what I'm reading now. And then I do a cool trivia section. You know, wow. I, as authors, we find all kinds of cool stuff when we're researching, right? Mm-hmm. And I'll just collect some of them when I go, huh, that's kind of cool <laughs> or funny. And, you know, I try to put the little funny twist to it too. And um, I yeah, love so that's, that. my, that's my main thing. I love my trivia. Yeah. It, and I know that people share. love your newsletter. So if you are not on her newsletter, when you go pick up her book free, that's just going to be free for just about uh, 10 more months. So, and then I'm sure like the rest of us, she's going to charge for it. So yep. you grab it now while it's free and you've got that download link below. Also, we've included her newsletter link and where else can we find you all over the interwebs? You can find me on, on Amazon, you know, just search my author name and you can also find me on TeganMar.com. Awesome. Awesome. And, and do you have anything else you'd like for the readers to know before we let you get on with your day? Um, I don't just, I mean, if, if you like audio, I'm available from all the libraries. I'm, all my books are wide and that's about it. That's me. And I am available on Kindle Unlimited. All my series are. So all right. um, I'd, I can't wait to, to meet more people. I love responses to my newsletters. So please, everybody can feel free to get in touch. I love to learn about them. I love that. And again, Thank you, Tegan, so much for being with us. And it's so great to meet you in person. And it's great to meet you too, Tanya. Thanks for having me. that you came on and gave us this time. Now go grab her book right now. All the links yes, are go get it. You're going to love her. It. Stop yes. her. She's fun. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to love going to the beach. You can That's go on a beach right. vacation with me. <laughs> Thanks so much, Tegan. Thank you, Tanya. Have a good one. You too. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. What a fun interview. I would love to thank today's guest for sharing with us their addition in the Twisty Tales and Cozy Crime Prolific Works giveaway, year-long giveaway. So be sure to grab this episode's book for free, and you can do that by going to the show notes and grabbing that link. And also, don't forget to be sure that you follow and stalk (laughs) this week's Spotlight author. Thank you so much, and we will see you next week on Shooting the Breeze.